So Mike Tyson is getting inducted into the Hall of Fame this year in WWE. And before anybody complains and says that he hasn't really done a whole lot in WWE, so why does he need to be in there? I'm going to say the same thing that I said back when Drew Carey got in. It's the celebrity wing. I mean, I, I kind of don't care. Like, uh, if you're going to get a celebrity inducted into the Hall of Fame, it makes sense to put somebody like Mike Tyson in there. And even Drew Carey, because, I mean, he participated in a Royal Rumble. Mike Tyson's been in a couple different things back and forth. And it's a lot better to induct somebody like that than it would be to induct, like, um, exactly. uh, one of the random guest hosts that we had. I mean, I like Hugh Jackman, but like Hugh Jackman right now, not WWE Hall of Fame material for coming out and saying that Zack Ryder is great and then punching Dolph Ziggler once. But uh, as far as Tyson you know, going to the Hall of Fame is concerned, the one thing I'm the most interested in is uh, his acceptance speech. <laughs> mm-hmm. on, that will be entertaining. I really hope that they don't jip us and edit it out like they've been doing the past couple of years with the Hall of Fame on TV. They've kind of been cutting out like three quarters yeah. of the whole you even cut stuff out on the dvd when you get it too from what i've heard it's still not the full thing that's ridiculous. or there's like it's heavily edited and not you know what everybody's seen there but yeah that'll be pretty funny Just well days you're going to, to wrestlemania are you going to the hall of fame um yes most likely because i'm really excited to see the horseman and edge get in the only beef i have with tyson going in is he's going in before someone like ozzy Ozzy has been on the show like countless numbers of times. He's dedicated. He's put. He's uh, allowed WWE to use the music for the pay-per-views and stuff. And I just feel like there's still a few more people out there that had more impact on the business than Tyson. Tyson had a huge impact, but I still think it's kind of like Bruno oh, San Martino not being in there yet. Well, I would want to see that acceptance speech too. How the Osborne <laughs> just yelling Sharon the whole time. Sharon! Yeah. yeah. In terms of. Uh celebrity inductees i think you know compared to drew carey or somebody like that you know he did kind of he was involved in a huge main event match and you know he was basically there for austin's major rise into the main event so you know he does have some sort of significance with you know wrestlemania in some way some small little way it's more than what other people can say like drew carey entering a royal rumble or something like that i have no problem with it should be entertaining right and um the rest of the Hall of Fame, I mean, they're kind of pushing the Hall of Fame a lot right now. They're doing this really fast. I didn't expect them huge, to be doing it. They got a huge arena for it, and I don't think they sold out. I think that's their problem. Ooh. Yeah, it must be it. Then they must be trying to get this and get the build up really early on to get people to start planning and everything like that. I mean, I haven't bought my tickets yet, so. Yeah, you kind of can't sell tickets when you have a bunch of Coco Beware's in your hall. <laughs> yeah. You know. That's what they should just do. Induct him like eight times this year. The hell with Ric Flair and his second inter- uh, induction. His legs should be in the Hall of Fame if they make a physical one. <laughs> <laughs> Does that offend you, internet nerds? hey oh, Shout out to K-Dub. What's up, K-Dub? K-Dub9, your biggest fan. We're not calling you a nerd. We're all nerds. I like him. He likes me. <laughs> we embrace the internet nerds. We're all the uh, I- IWC. Even if you hate the term. If you're an IWC member, you're an IWC member. Accept it. The first part is admitting. <laughs> yes, it is. So, um, as far as I'm concerned, that's about it for the Mike Tyson thing. <laughs> anything else you guys want to touch on him with that? Not really anything for me. Uh, as I said, he a decent celebrity. Probably one of the better ones they've decided to induct. There have been some pretty... Yeah, you know, embarrassingly bad ones as well. Seems fine. You know, he's an actual athlete. Was involved with WrestleMania. No complaints here. Alrighty, so the next part we're going to talk about a little bit of a uh, post Royal Rumble stuff, and then we're going to get into the Royal Rumble itself. We're going to talk about Triple H versus Undertaker on Raw, and I'm going to complain. So stay tuned for that. 